Step 2. Creating Mesh from External 2D Drawings Switch on the 1.2 dot creating mesh from the external 2D drawing preset view in the navigator. Import the reference file by clicking the merge command in the file, file special menu. Browse to the advanced modeling library folder and select the DWG file type. Select the mesh contour lines dot DWG file and click the open button. The Merge DXF-DWG dialog box appears on the screen. Choose the Merge Content of Model Space into Current View option and hit OK. Next, click the Skip All button to ignore the SHX fonts. In the appearing Merge DXF-DWG Model Space dialog box, make sure Specify On Screen is checked for the Insertion Point option. Next, click the bounding box node radio button and select the top left button as the anchor point. Click the merge button and place the drawing as shown. Now you have to define the contour of the mesh. Select the mesh tool and activate the rectangular geometry method in the info box. First, click at the top left point of the rectangle then click at the bottom right corner. Select the newly created mesh. With the mesh tool still activated, hold down the spacebar to activate the magic wand. Drag the cursor over the first level line and click. The new mesh points dialog box appears on the screen. Verify that fit to user ridges is selected. Click OK to create new points along the contour. Reactivate the magic wand and repeat the last operation until each contour is redrawn by the magic wand. When you add new points to the selected mesh, you'll have three possibilities. If you choose No Surface Fitting, the new points will be added with the height value currently set in the Mesh Settings dialog box. If you select Fit to User Ridges, the new points will be placed on the current surface of the mesh and only user-defined ridges will keep their height. This method is recommended for renderings. By choosing Fit to All Ridges, the new points will be placed on the current surface of the mesh and all ridges will keep their height. This method is the most precise one, but it may generate a rather large number of ridges. In the latter two cases, if you wish to create a hole, no slopes connected to the bottom of the mesh will be created. This will allow you to place your building precisely into the excavated site. You have created a mesh which is at present a horizontal plane. Define the height for each contour line individually to obtain the final shape of the mesh. Drag the cursor along the first line and click on the point. Select Elevate Mesh Point from the appearing pet palette. Enter 1 meter and select the Apply to All feature. This will affect all points along the contour. Do not forget that the top level of the mesh is set to minus 11 meters. When modifying the height of level lines, this value serves as the reference level from which the new altitude is measured. Follow the same process for the remaining level lines as shown. Finally, define the height of the corners on the terrain as indicated. Once you've finished the creation of the terrain, Activate the perspective view to check your design in 3D.